Let's watch how a stage 7 race winds up in the Tour de Swift, the biggest annual event on the indoor cycling. This is the last stage of the Tour, and this is the same, sta uh, same course where the pros rode World Championships in England last September. Let's see what happens in this Category B race. I'm an amateur cyclist uh, in his master years, age group 50+. plus. I've started Zwift app now on my computer, having a large TV screen as a second one. And my bike is fixed to a smart trainer that sends my pedal power to the game platform. And now only some seconds to start and uh, I was a bit late due to the filming hassle. And a quick uh, one has to get power level up before the start in order to stay in the bunch, not getting dropped right away. There are four categories, A is for the best ones uh, in the race, who can keep on pushing over 4 watts per kilogram, and I used to race in C but stepped up to B last autumn. I started among the slowest of these, but I've gotten more and more competitive. Now you can see the start finish banner there, so the lap starts, and uh, usually I can keep something like 300 watts per uh, but as you can see, we have to keep pushing more. So it's not only the actual power wattage on the upper left hand corner, but the watts per kilogram based on my weight. And see that under my name in the list on the right hand side. They convert into virtual speed. And on the upper right hand side there is a small map. And the green dots represent the cyclists on the course. I find my place as an orange triangle. And you can see there are gaps forming already. One has to keep together in the peloton or in the leading group. It's very difficult to get back if you get dropped. Because the aer aerodynamic benefit of draft of others is as important in Swift as it is in the real life. Yeah, um, I have a perfect place for indoor riding at home. I have a spare room for this hobby. Uh, in the actually, it's a separate uh, building uh, in the garden, and uh, I don't have to think there about trainer noise or about playing music, sweating, or anything, whether it's nice and appropriate for the others or not. Any time of the day, I can go there. Now on the map you, you see the percentage telling if it's downhill and uphill and how steep it is. And currently it's minus 16, a very steep downhill. And uh, yeah, now it's going up again, 5%. This is sort of undulating course here, leveled and now still some downhill. And. Uh, you can see my body language soon, and uh, the effort doesn't seem to look uh, that that much. Yeah, here it's like Sunday uh, Sunday riding, but actually pushing quite a lot. And uh, it's uh, 350 watts now, and I have to take care that I don't lose my good position in the group of something like 25 riders, I think this time. Now uh, this will uh, change to a downhill here and that downhill leads to a bend over a creek, there's a bridge and after that uh, it's the toughest uphill that will blow this bigger bunch of riders into smaller pieces in small groups and let's see how many will stay there. <laughs> As you can see uh, not so uh, easy anymore but let it still that. Okay, up we go. Uh, Yorkshire comb it's 1.2k long, 5.5% average, but not the huge mountain, but enough to sort out the riders who has something in their legs still or not. Yeah, riding out of the saddle, it's good to have some other legs to, uh, some other muscles in the legs to do some work. And the cadence is low now, 50 RPM. And we are reaching the top of the hill. You see the banner in front of us there and entering after that the town area. 
So it's something like 5k to go now and uh, after this this banner it will be sort of, sort of undulating course all the way to the finish. And now I think uh, after the hill there is something like 12 of us in the leading group. Okay, I cut it short to the 1.5k to go. It's 9 riders still of the 60 or so in the leading group. And now it's uh, let's watch all the way to the finish. It's very difficult to try any solo solo uh, ride to finish here because the other will have their drop defect and uh, as a group they can hunt you down. So uh, it's better to spend uh, save some energy. Uh, I've been only a few times in the lead and saving energy here in in the back. It's a small group, no no problem to stay there. So one point one to go and let's have these two pictures picture in picture as well so you have an idea how the effort looked like for the final K. There are those chemifying elements like the aero boost power up see the blue circle and white helmet on the top and I'll save that one to the finished stroke. Now we're doing under 300 watts and this is the last bit of some rest before the last turn to the right and the steep uphill ramp so this will be the decisive moment to see who has something in the legs or not. You see uh, on the right hand side, 9%, 10% is very deep, very, very tight going uphill. And those who happen to have the lightweight power up, they will spend it now to gain advantage and uh, trying to uh, uh, push and uh, get, uh, get away from us. But uh, I will make it, I will uh, keep uh, in the group and soon I'll press spacebar to, to release my aero boost advantage. Now to assist while I'm pushing harder, reaching places, I'm ninth now but uh, pushing, pushing and uh, eighth, seventh, sixth, keeping pushing and going, going harder and this is not a beauty contest, <laughs> grinning quite a lot. And uh, others have uh, error boosts as well. Uh, I have to, uh, yeah, I did it. Uh, I got those two, but uh, one I think may have uh, gotten in front of me. And but happy still, a, a good ride, third or okay, fourth position, very nice. And based on this ride, as Swift says, my FTP or the functional threshold power to maintain an hour has improved quite a lot, so this was a nice, nice training ride.